Sharpened Focus. January 9, 2015. Let us begin this week's transmission with a short moment to think back to a time when you did everything perfectly as you were completing a task or goal. This would have been a time when you gave your whole self into the situation. When you give 100% of your heart and soul every step of the way, and don't allow distractions to derail you, you are greeted afterwards with a deep profound feeling of contentment that you had done well. Now if you cannot bring up such a memory, then envision yourself in one that is based on what you have experienced so far, that fit what it means to apply excellence into what you are doing. Life is flowing all around you, and it flows much of the time imperfectly but you have learned to accept certain flaws life has brought you as well as your own limitations. But what life also brought is encouragement to not become so passive by letting possibilities go by that would enrich your development and growth. Each day is a brand new day, filled with endless opportunities to try, to become and to be. You just need to take that courageous plunge and reach with your heart and soul until you make one of your goals a reality. Yet from what we see, a lot of what you give is only half-hearted. When you only give half-hearted effort, your results are not so great. The outcome of any achievement will match the effort given. Is it not time to stop shutting your eyes away from living a halfway lived life and begin meeting each step, each goal, each everything with all your heart and soul effort? Remember dear ones, everything you do is action. Even if you choose to remain in a lazy state when it comes to the development of you, you are making this choice to do so. All choices carry energy, and we encourage you to pick up the pace, raise your energy and change the dynamics of your life that will be for the better. When you care about what you are doing, and you are willing to apply excellence into each step, then you are demonstrating that you have embraced the highest standards of your own personal manifestations. When you begin applying excellence to the work before you, you will discover you are also pursuing excellence in your moral standards, in your integrity, compassion, tolerance, commitment as well as heightening standards of excellence in your actions. There are great examples of such individuals in your community, in your world that display adamant levels of excellence and perfection that can assist you to create new personal goals and targets for yourself to reach. When you stretch your own personal standards than what they currently are, you are literally bringing yourself towards new and amazing possibilities that will encourage a deeper and more profound evolution. There is not an aspect of your life that cannot be touched by excellence, including your thoughts and emotions, as well as your interactions with others. Excellence can be applied in all situations, from personal to professional to spiritual. If you take a look at the creative side of people such as musicians, artists, and even scientists, you will conclude that their own personal yet creative energy is what brought them excellence to what they were creating. Every single moment of your precious life provides you with legitimate opportunities to ask yourself, what is it that excellence demands of me within this circumstance before me? Think about what you can do to make it better. It is obvious to point out in your day-to-day -day life where excellence fits. But it is understood that you may not see at first where excellence fits when you are pursuing spiritual goals and quests. Well dear ones it is quite simple, the practice of excellence means you are paying attention, therefore your focus is sharp. Anytime when your attention is ongoing, you are aware for opportunities to excel, and when your attention is focused, you are able to manifest what you wish to bring into existence. Focus and attention dear ones is fundamental when you are working at strengthening your inner person. Another aspect of how excellence affects your spiritual endeavors is within your ability to improve your connection with God. It is your conscience that is your connection to God's divine will, and through this deep connection you are met with excellence. When you practice excellence dear ones, your perceptions open wider enabling you to recognize and to intuit what requires of any situation which provides you with an effective way to tune into your conscience. It is your own self-centeredness that calls you to be biased with slanted ideals, or to find an easy way out. But when you are objective and apply excellence, you are beckoning yourself to become empty of self-centered behavior in order to hear your inner voice of conscience and act accordingly with your true and authentic self, the part of you that is intricately connected to the perfection within the imperfection of life and to God. 
it is through this deep-rooted connection with God that His divine will begins to act through you. The actions that come from such practices of excellence come in all sizes, great or small, as perfection is perfection. Size is not the issue, it is the quality that makes the difference. When excellence is applied into your spiritual practices, you develop an inherent connection to the divine kingdom and to God. Any act you do that is filled with excellence, empty of egoic tendencies, will exceed time and become eternally sacred. When you pursue excellence dear ones, you are implying you are giving all of yourself each and every time that you are willing to always give your best and highest quality of your energy in order to direct your life to serve humanity in the best and most constructive way possible that infinitely connects you to God and all life. You are here now, make this day a day filled with excellence by giving your whole self in all you do. Yes it does require you to dedicate yourself completely, but when you are aiming to achieve something important, only your best will do. And so it is. I am Ascended Master, Sarah Pispay through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com